on Orlando here and today I'm going to show you Omni ROM review on my Samsung Galaxy Grand so I have, I have made a video regarding this ROM on how to install this ROM okay, so this is the lock screen here we find the weather widget and the emails all these things and if you swipe to the right we find the camera and the same goes to the left and all other widgets so let's unlock the phone okay so this is the main interface it looks like Nexus 5 kind of UI okay and uh, the coming to the features of this ROM this ROM is running on Android version 4.4.2 which is KitKat as you can see here I've been using this ROM as my daily driver for past four to five days and I must say this is an awesome ROM okay even I was I would rate this ROM uh, I would say this ROM is better than Cyanogen Mod 11. Okay, this is my personal rating. I am using the build 3 version. Okay, so guys, this is the settings panel, and here we find a uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, all these things. Interface, if we can edit, there are some mods like bars, menus, notification drawer, all these things. On home menu, on home, we can select the launcher we wanna use. On sound we find some general sound settings and uh, ringtones all those on display we find all this normal stuff and uh, here we find on the screen animation the locks the screen uh, animation like fade out electronic beam scale down electronic beam is the CRT effect same goes here some normal bonds and buttons on storage uh, by default it was 4.4 GB out of which available is 2.68 and here on battery a last charged a last charged on one day one hour 22 minutes ago when using it normally I, I'm using I use this phone as my daily driver as, you, as I have said earlier and I'm a light user I'm not a very heavy user I would say I would I'm a medium to light user okay, and here you can see is one day one hour 22 minutes and uh, battery percentage still 45 percent and out of which screen time is 3 hours 31 minutes which is pretty good I will say this uh, if you uh, install this ROM and especially the build 3 I'm using this build 3 then if you if you're a light user then it might cross one and a half day or even two days if you're a very light user and the screen time you will get about 6 to 6.5 hours and if you're lucky then you might get 7 hours I can have did some voice calls of 37 minutes so battery life is pretty good but no issue with the battery life one little card which I found that uh, the this GPS thing doesn't work for me okay it might work for you but it doesn't it didn't work for me as I tried this uh, maps and the maps crashed each and every time let me just show you once again except see the maps crashed okay this map and uh, you, you might think that I'm using art but no I'm using Delvik let me just show you see runtime is Delvik okay and uh, yeah on security we find this enable widgets and on here we find the default messaging applications okay. I've tasted some of the some games on this ROM okay and it worked pretty well let me just uh, let me show you the camera so this is the default camera which you find on this ROM and uh, it snaps pretty well pretty well focus is also pretty fast video recording also pretty good everything is fine with this ROM except for the, the maps doesn't work okay and uh, dual sim is not present on this rom and one more thing is that uh, fm radio also doesn't work one more thing guys i want to mention that 
once you install this rom you will once you install this rom you will lose your root access yes it's quite funny but yeah you will lose your root access don't worry just download the super user zip file and flash it via cwm you will get your super user once again okay so that's it for this quick video let me just uh, see if i have missed something and it's a normal gallery application don't worry every gmail everything works fine except for the maps and uh, okay everything works fine let me sh just one minute show you the gameplay of, of this see server software also crashed i think it's there's some little problem with this rom okay and other than that as a daily driver um, I don't play games on my real life yeah I play games on my PC but not on my phone so it doesn't it's not a very big con for me but it might be for you but the battery life is the main important thing for me so this ROM gets a thumbs up from me in the battery life, de battery life department uh, let me show you a screenshot where one day 8 hours 30 minutes it's pretty uh, pretty heavy use I would say GPS was on full time Wi-Fi also about 50 60 times percent and uh, here is the screen time it was 6 hours guys one more thing I enabled this uh, navigation well, you might ask me how did I enable this it's very easy just go just install root explorer open it okay then uh, come down and uh, select this system then tap this icon mount as R oh, okay, R R W to R O and press and hold this and uh, do this open in text editor and just write this line on the just write, write this line at the end main key is equal to 0 save it and reboot as one more thing which I forgot to mention is that on this ROM we find the multi window which you find on Samsung TouchWiz devices TouchWiz ROMs ok so to enable multi window all we need to do is open to application suppose uh, I wanna open this uh, music player and uh, say chrome ok and uh, clock let's open two three applications okay so once you have opened two three applications just place press this button or uh, press home and hold and see here we have add split view okay so it's on the top now we have to add another suppose I wanna add chrome add to split view okay so now you can see uh, here we have this multi window kind of thing okay so yeah that's it if you like this video guys then uh, please hit the like button thanks for watching take care